In this exemplary problem, uh, we have to identify one parameter, circuit parameter, namely this resistance for the given measurement of power which is uh, supplied by this source. Uh, this uh, simple problem can be solved on circuit using uh, Kirchhoff's laws and Ohm's law. We may find uh, this resistance. So at first, as we know, uh, power which is 48 watt power which is supplied by this source, we may find a voltage across this source. If we apply active sign convention, this is the voltage 12 volt. Next, having this voltage, we may calculate this current. Uh, this current from Ohm's law is 2 amp. Then, having these two currents, we may calculate this current. We know the voltage and then uh, the identified resistance is 6 ohm. Obviously, we may solve this problem using a P spice. However, there is no big sense in, uh, in such an approach because uh, this problem is so simple that on diagram analysis is recommended. However, I'm going to show you how to use P spice if we have to identify one circuit uh, parameter for the given uh, value of uh, one circuit variable, namely power dissipated by current source. So we are creating a circuit, uh, a circuit diagram. In this element, which is identified, uh, this unknown value has to be set as R, well, for example, R var uh, 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 like that, uh, by double clicking on this resistor value, we obtain this window and then we place uh, this value, which is R, R variable. Then we have to also uh, place a parameter, uh, which is a part from this part browser, and we have to set this parameter R variable. Its value is meaningless because anyway we will uh, set this value or values uh, in analysis setup. Analysis setup. So we have to. Um, take into account DC sweep. However, there is no sweep of a source. Uh, we have a current source and only one value for. And then parametric analysis. So we have our parameters is R variable. It is global parameter. And uh, we may select sweep type linear from 1 to 10 with increment of 0 0.1. Obviously, it is a matter of experience uh, selecting start and end value such that the, uh, the value that we are looking for is in between start and end. So having this analysis set up, we press simulate to simulate uh, this circuit and we obtain at first uh, blank window and uh, available selections. We select all all uh, uh, resistances from one up till ten with increment of zero point one. And then we have a black window and we have to add trace. Our trace is power. It is our measurement power, which is um, which is delivered by the current source. And that way, adding the trace. And this is the trace that we have added. We obtain the trace, as you can see here in green. Now we are looking for the level of uh, 48. This is the level of uh, power supplied that uh, we are looking for. Uh, on the horizontal axis, we have values of, uh, of a resistance. So we toggle cursor. And then we press search command 
and we have to print here search forward level our level is 48 okay and we obtain this result cursor is placed exactly where we want which is which is here for 48 what we have a resistance of 60 ohm and that way we have completed this example problem obviously for this pro problem let me repeat use of p-spice is not recommended this problem is so simple that uh, on diagram analysis is enough